Now this little indie video game is causing quite a stir and it's bringing forth the perfect example of how ideologues will oftentimes wish into existence evidence for a reason to be upset. And as far as I can find, there's absolutely no reason for them to be upset, yet they continue to not only brigade this video game's reviews, but implore others to do so. The game is called Heartbeat. It's currently on Steam, and it refers to itself as a game that where you can make friends, make enemies, go fishing, collect cards, beat up sharks, beat up tigers, obtain the denim blade, train a fuzzy infantile insect for battle, and uncover ancient secrets in this monster-filled adventure. It looks like a kind of a classic RPG to me. The game's currently on sale, 35% off. If you buy the game and the soundtrack, it's 41% off. Now, you might be saying to yourself, 41% off, that seems like a pretty good deal. You're right, unless you're one of the absolutely insane people on the Reset Era video game board. A video game bulletin board, which is well known for endorsing brigading of any developer that they don't like. A video game board that has deep entrenched history of child lovers in their discord a video game board that is more concerned with the people who make video games than necessarily the games themselves now this game came out in december of 2018 by all measurements it's an irrelevant game but that wouldn't stop the people in the reset era forums from putting together their own little brigade here's a reddit thread is there any way we can brigade them i guess leaving reviews literally asking for a brigade they go on not that i know of boycotting never really worked in the games industry you could try to report them and the of the discount system to spread mean-spirited messages to valve but the chance of valve actually doing anything are rather small to me sadly i reported the game for this as we all should they won't care that they're phobic but i don't think they want people using steam store platform for this now what you might be asking yourself is where is this even coming from are you ready to put your crazy hat on think about surrounding yourself with five to eight roommates in a one bedroom apartment with three to four ferrets and a couple of cats and one litter box which is used by both the cats the ferrets and the people that live there right you're there right you're in this headspace here's what they're saying the game is 41% off to mock the trans deletion rate, the self deletion rate. You can figure out what I mean there. I'm not kidding. Now, a normal person might say, hey, it's 35% off, 10% more of that takes it to 41%, right? You have 35, they bundle it. 10 more, that just equals, it looks like Steam rounds it down to 41%. That's a normal person's answer. That's the answer of a person who, you know, isn't a psycho. But that's not Reset Era. Heavy warning. The devs of the game called Heartbeat got called out for their phobias. Now they are mocking trans self-deletion rates with a 41% off rate or sale. Uh, what? 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 You've got to be kidding me. And here's just a few of the comments uh, as put together by uh, your good friend, Billy the Anti-Bully. To, pl to a platform like Steam, how is 41% not hate speech and treated as such? What? What? I, I, I don't even know. I, I feel like I have to go and have several drinks after this. Ban them from Steam. Will we ever see gaming sites cover this mess? Yeah, I'll cover it. But guess what? You're not going to like my logical coverage and not ideologically driven coverage. I apparently already own this game. Darn it. 41% is not a coincidence. Should be delisted from Steam. This is disgusting. I already sent You are not allowed to make anything 41% off because of that. I'm not kidding. Now, where might all of this come from? Well, apparently, the girlfriend of one of the developers of the game made some spicy statements. Now, this isn't, as far as I can tell, the actual developer of the game. So let me get this straight. 
the girlfriend of a developer of an indie video game says some spicy facts, okay? An opinion. Might not be the PC opinion, but it is their opinion. And now they're trying to get the game canceled. Again, his girlfriend, not an actual developer, not anyone associated with the game, as far as I can tell. If you look at the reviews of this game, phobic de developer, you'd think it couldn't get any worse, but well, it does get worse. Boring game, kind of buggy, devs are not good people. Phobic developer, you know, Tran writes. Uh, wh what? So you have a problem. All of the blue check marks in the world who always complain about brigading, here we have a perfect example of it. But I wonder if Kotaku or Polygon will cover this. And will they look down their nose at the folks of Reset Era who are brigading this game? Apparently, uh, Reset Era and various social justice folks on Twitter attempted to review Brigade the RPG Heartbeat after the significant other of the developer going by the hand handle Nico Tyne. Uh, took to Twitter to have a problem with trans folks. The review brigading consisted of just over a dozen negative reviews. Not that big of a deal, but you see more coming in now. But it was quickly blotted out by others coming to the developer side to show their support. It started with tweets by her on September 20th, 2019. Again, this person's not a developer. They're not involved in the game at all. How deeply do you have to dig to get offended by stuff? Now, she did put out a pretty spicy tweet. I've never been so ashamed to be born in a country until now. America, a place where men believe they can mutilate themselves and dress in an effeminate manner to become female. You are not female. It's just some spicy stuff. You can surgically mold yourself into an Eiffel Tower if you want. You're not going to become France. You're not impressing anyone. I mean, TLDR, trans folks aren't, you know... I mean, it's, it's spicy. It's spicy. No doubt. It's no doubt spicy. But again, this person has nothing to do with the game at all. Risa Era types became enraged and decided to go on the offensive against the game Heartbeat, which is made by her partner. The forum proceeded to label both them and the developer as phobic and made the entire forum thread dedicated to railing on them. She tried to deflect the hate, directed a heartbeat, but it was already too late. Tweeting out, My personal views on gender and this community have nothing to do with my girlfriend's game. Oh, okay, so she's, uh, what would you call him? A turf? A turf? I wish I didn't know that terminology, but that's what this is. Apparently, um, a gay woman who doesn't like trans folks. Who cares? Has nothing to do with video games. Um, she has no attachment to this. But I guess once you share an opinion on something, they have to start a witch hunt on you and everything you know. Well, that's unfortunate, to be honest with you. It really is, because it seems like, you know, look, I don't have an opinion on this. You do you. My opinion is and will always be. As long as you don't infringe on my rights, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you can do whatever it is that your little heart desires. That's being truly free. I'm not going to tell you what you can do on your own time as long as it doesn't break one of those two rules. Now, gamers came out to support the developers, making threads to encourage them not to apologize. Now, I hope they don't apologize, of course, because this has nothing to do with the developers. And now the people at the video game forum, Reset Era, are just blatantly making up. There's absolutely no evidence that this number is made to mock anybody as far as i can tell the most logical thing is 35 percent plus 10 percent rounded down is six percent right and then 35 plus six is 41 that's i'm assuming what that is that would be a pretty deep uh troll to be honest with you i'm not sure that anybody's on that level i mean if it is props i suppose um now people are kind of running out to you know buying this game to to own them. Uh, you know, I'm starting to come off that train a little bit. I mean, I think people should buy good games, but I do think that, you know, if it's something you're interested in and you want to buy it anyway, of course, that's fine. But, you know, supporting people, uh, speaking out against this type of brigading. Uh, now, you can't have it both ways, people. Now, I think that 
Reviews from customers should be always allowed. Whether you have a social issue with them or an issue with the game, if you purchased it, you're allowed to voice your opinion. But that goes both ways, and I don't think we're going to see Kotaku and Polygon coming out and speaking out against this. We'll have to take a little watch. Hopefully, you will uh, take a moment to leave a like on this video and comment down below and share out this crazy story. We'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Above you'll find some links to watch more videos as well as a nice big button to subscribe which I hope you'll do. If you did enjoy it, make sure before you go that you leave a like and a comment on the video because you are the number one reason this channel continues to grow and I appreciate you.